Hi, Hinsters. How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome to my name is Hini. I'm a spiritual astrologer. Look in the description box below if you'd like to get a reading with me or join my online course on an introduction to spiritual astrology. I still have about nine free scholarship spaces for that course, so check it out. We've only still done like class one, so there's lots of classes left to do. It's roughly going to be six months. Check it out if you want like a nice introductory course that's a little bit different of a spin. It's a spiritual spin on astrology and it is through the Hellenistic lens. So as I record this video, this here video, um, it is actually the eve of Halloween and of course then we are in Scorpio season and a few things I wanted to kind of just touch on before we get into Mercury in Scorpio specifically is that um, there's just this lovely magic to Scorpio season that I like. Of course, Scorpio season is a feminine season. It is a shadow season. It is into the last half of the year. It's the first feminine step of the last half of the year or the end of the year. And I just love it. I mean, in the Northern Hemisphere especially, you see it very literally manifested, but there is just in general and spiritually speaking as well, there is this, always with Scorpio season, this feeling of the beauty of death and decay and the beauty of ends. And there's of course this intense, uh, desperation and kind of wild, chaotic loves and um, running through to the very end of things with the Scorpio season. It's, yeah, it's intense and it's secret and it's, um, it's kind of like Scorpio season is kind of like curling yourself up, especially in this rabbit year as well. It's perfect. I think a lot of Scorpios will kind of blossom in this rabbit year but yeah it's kind of like just curling yourself up in like, into like this cozy cocoon or in your cushions and your blanket and kind of the mug of hot tea maybe Scorpio sextiles Capricorn season Capricorn and we'll talk a bit more about this kind of clutching a nice hot stone cup of tea in Capricorn season and that vibe. But yeah, Scorpio season is kind of like curling up in some cozy kind of sense and really knowing inside, deep within, that certain things are fastened now, certain things are sure now, certain things are fast now. Um, and certain, there's a certainty because Scorpio season is a fixed season as well. This is a fixed sign and it's a water sign. I often call it the secret fire sign. It is Mars ruled and Scorpio is an ice sign as well. I often call it. Um, so we get a lot of the nice kind of romantic winter vibes as well with Scorpio season that are coming in. We get a lot of ice and freezing things and people and spaces out. And of course, it's a great time to really cut <laughs> the head off something if you haven't already done in Virgo or Libra season. And to, you know, for example, in my life, I've just decided to completely do away with instant coffee, which has been a bit of a little addiction at work because it's just there, but I'm just like, no, and, and Scorpio season can provide that certain no. And um, again, if we haven't kind of swung that sword in Libra season already. Because, you know, energies, they don't just kind of stop and start when a season begins officially with the official date. No, it's kind of like weather. And, you know, when you see that it's raining in one part of the map on a weather report, it doesn't mean that it's raining in every single part of that particular place or that as you drive out of that particular place, it's just going to stop. It's 
there's transition, there's merging, there's like peaks and valleys, and anyway. Also, this is the season of Björk, uh, Icelandic master, Scorpio sun, Scorpio rising. Um, yes, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I love Björk. Um, and I think also she is a great artist to dive into if you haven't already, or to dust off and get back into during Scorpio season. And also another thing that came to me today is, uh, and this is for every season, but when the sun is going through Scorpio, sometimes if you're a Scorpio sun or Scorpio rising especially, it's good to watch out for this kind of all eyes on you type of thing that happens because the sun is the biggest, brightest body, biggest, brightest God. Nothing can hide from it in terms of visibility. And when it's going through Scorpio's sign, um, or Scorpio Rising's sign, first house, it can be a lot of that, like, just like theatrics and um, everything that you're doing or saying has much more attention on it, more eyes and ears are on you, and sometimes it can be where we uh, are overly confident in some sense, or overblowing in some sense. Of course, we have Jupiter opposing the sun, in Taurus and Jupiter is still retrograde there so there's an interesting like dynamic of like just kind of <laughs> just like not trying not to be like an overblown clown in some sense because we all experience that potential when the sun is going through our sign it's a lot of big chestedness and pride and um just you know a lot of light on you. Um, anyway, Mercury in Scorpio then. So <laughs> the first thing I had is going back also to Doja Cat, excellent spirit, Scorpio rising. I'm still going to be in my Doja Cat vibe for at least another month. I think she's another brilliant artist to delve into during this time. But like, yeah, one of her lyrics, is it casual or are you trying to spend your life with me? This is like kind of that scorpionic intensity and um, like communicating things rawly as well. There's always a rawness to this Mars ruled Scorpio energy. But this particular Mercury in Scorpio transit then, we have Mercury being well hosted because Mars is in Scorpio right now also so it's in the sign he's in the sign that he rules and in your birth chart he is roosting in the particular house where you have Scorpio and that's even more of a bonus I think when we have not only a planet in domicile but roosting in our birth chart and we have um, series as well here 15 degrees of Scorpio as Mercury entered or ingressed Scorpio and I have here then incisive thinking coming to the fore and this is like the black and the white again this is fixed sign energy <laughs> and it's kind of all or nothing for some people in in many ways and this is stuff like we've got by the way um also toning this mercurial transit we have the moon squaring mercury and it was um the moon was zero degrees of Aquarius and Saturn was retrograding of course at zero degrees of Pisces trining the uh, Mercury, <laughs> trining Mercury and so we have things like cyber sex basically, we have um, sexting, we have affairs, we have um, anonymous fun, we also have sense and sensuality kind of creating an, ag an agitation for us um, and we're being tested in some way especially when we look at the house where we have Aquarius and where we have Scorpio there is this square energy and it's big because Mars rules squares as well and remember Mars is in domicile and roosting in your Scorpio house so I think there's something definitely important going on there and this is like getting to the bottom of things in Scorpio season that's very typical um every year but like something that is mysterious or like finding out the motive of someone or yourself um and like this is secret communications 
this is also discoveries and um, like, what did I write here? Oh yeah, catching people in some sense. And also I would say, which, which two houses do you have um, the mercurial signs, Virgo and Gemini? That's important to look at because we're talking about Mercury here. So there's a lot more activation of the themes of these two houses. And we get also here industriousness. This is very Scorpionic, Scorpio sextiles, uh, not only Capricorn, but also Virgo. And um, this is like a furious frugality with Mars here as well, really coming to roost. This is um, resourcefulness as well. Not often talked about, but Scorpio is a very resourceful sign. This is stuff like crunching the numbers. This is cracking codes. We've been talking a lot about like cracking the codes as we got closer and into Virgo season on my channel. But also this is like figuring shiz out. Um, this is fights as well and debates and arguments. And it's like, where does the emotionality of things end and the uh, reason <laughs> begin? Again, this is that, uh, Mer little moon <laughs> mercury square coming in and this is making um what did i write here this is making um friends um <laughs> in the sense of mercury ruling brotherhood so maybe there is um like a re-kicking in or a boost when it comes to strong, um, certain friendships. And this is like the subversive stuff and the hidden moves for the community as well, because Mercury was associated with the community and is the god, of course, of the common people and common knowledge common sense and um this is mind games as well we have mental traps and there will be like a kicking in for some people or situations of cruelty as well because we have mars which is a malefic leaning more to that quote-unquote bad or evil side and so there will be an increase of things like cruelty because we've got mercury here as well who is the god of game playing and Mars is the god of wrongdoing and wrongdoers. So this is a, a tricky mix in some sense, but in Scorpio, there is also this, that potential again for like cruelty or um, saying and doing things that are just way too much or harsh um, and like cutting to the bone in some sense. Um, so obviously it's not all like roses and rainbows, right? Um, this is also stuff like wrestling and um, this is Mer Mercury really coming in as well to the party, but like wrestling and rough sex and raw sex and being left on red, <laughs> uh, kind of at the worst time. Like it can be, yeah, like bad timing as well. I'm getting that as well. And like also secretly, oh, Missy Elliott is coming through for me as well. Like also a Scorpio rising. Um, like strap it up before you wrap it up. Was that the lyric or wrap it up before you strap it up? I can't remember, but in on one of her albums, she says that and it's quite funny. Um, Kansas Sun as well, she is. But um, there's that too, like, like just protecting yourself if you are like having sex or you're sexually active or you're a promiscuous girl, whatever. Um, because this is uh, Mars and Scorpio, like kind of things under the surface in, t in terms of sex coming to the surface um, or getting information and exchanging information. This is Mercury when it comes to like STDs or um, sex life or like sexuality and these things coming, bubbling up. Um, also, this is secretly accompanying people to help them with something private again very mars in scorpio very scorpio season generally really this is like therapy uh just like one-on-one -on -one conversations that are quite deep or like you know consoling people also apologizing to people with sincerity and with a kind of bravery and also just being direct like just like putting everything down and finding the person you need, you need to say sorry to and and saying it that's like mars and scorpio 
Um, I also get here at like good time to consult things or people like bankers, financial advisors, teachers, doctors, lawyers. It doesn't have to be that they are literally carrying these professions, but you might just meet someone or have a conversation who kind of has this energy of someone who has their financials, you know, kind of um, tippity top or someone who is very reasonable and rational, has a good sharp mind or is very astute and that conversation or that person helps you as well in some way with that resourcefulness uh, spiritually. It's like a spider or a scorpion um, navigating the next kind of best move. Um, that's very Scorpio season. Also like intense practice or playing of music. Again, we have a lot of this intensity with Scorpio season and um, playing with emotions as well and like heartbreakers and players and playboys, fuck boys, um, Bitcoin boys, like scammer boys. Um, if you are gay, you might uh, be familiar with on some of the dating apps, there are a fair few Bitcoin uh, scammers who look pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty on the eye. Um, but I, it's not them really, and they just want you to buy something from them. Um, but you might get wrangled or seduced by something or someone and scammed. So watch out for that kind of thing as well. Um, this is also like a chance to get deep into the knowledge with Mercury here and, um, and, and into the knowledge of our Scorpio house. So you need to know your rising sign. You need to know what house is your Scorpio house because that's where all this stuff is kicking off um, with Mars and Mercury and the Sun. Like this is all stellion. There's a lot of stuff in Scorpio right now. And, and we're going to get even more later when we've got uh, Venus going through uh, Libra and into Scorpio. Um, but yeah, like it's like finding something out about yourself in your Scorpio house that is quite deep um, or uncovering something or maybe like it's your turn to like receive the baton or pass the baton in some sense in your Scorpio house. And I have here also teaching or passing on information like um, tactics and direction to really kind of fire up or encourage somebody to like motivate themselves in some way. That's very Mars. And we do have, yes, as Mercury entered Scorpio, this sextile being made to Venus in Virgo. And you may know that Venus, quote unquote, falls in Virgo. And What's interesting here is this mutual reception between Mercury and Venus, and Mercury is uh, exalted actually in the sign of Virgo, and Venus not only falls in Virgo, but is in detriment in Scorpio. So we continue to have this Mercury-Venus conversation. I get that this is like Mercury feeding information or like kind of like telling in a way Venus or feeding something into our Virgo house right now that is about protection and precaution. This is kind of like the bad date uh, <laughs> that you've been on before. Um, like it might be a brand new person you're dating, but like you've been there before and Mercury and Venus are kind of having this conversation. Maybe it's uncomfortable, but like something is being tapped into here. Um, We've been here before, or oh, this is like a bad work pattern where you've been there before. It's like, this is me. This is my own doing. Uh, I know this side of me. I know me already. Um, so a lot of that could be bubbling up too. Anyway, that's enough booze. I've said enough about Mercury in Scorpio. I hope you have a lovely rest of um, the kind of Halloween period. And start to your week on this fine fair Monday moon day and I'll see you again in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what I do and do subscribe if you haven't already. Love you. Bye bye.